So is this varnish or is this teak oil? Well, this is teak oil. And if you want your application to look just like this, follow me on this three minute tutorial. First thing we're gonna do is tape off any edges or anything like that that we don't want the sandpaper to actually nick. Once we've done that, I'm using a little mouse sander. This thing works great for getting ridges off, things like that. It makes my job a lot quicker without having to hand sand anything or using a sander that's much more abrasive or quicker. Uh, so this little mouse works great. I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper and because they do have some quite a bit of ridges. Uh, once I've got the rails done with that as much as I can, I use a small piece of scrap sandpaper and I get all the little places that the sander couldn't get. Uh, once I've got that done, I'll go ahead and spray my wood off. A lot of people don't like to spray their wood, but I love to spray the wood because it makes it really clean. Once I've got it clean and then taped back and dry and then taped back off again, I use the tip of the end of the brush to push down the edge of the tape so that the teak oil doesn't get underneath it. Uh, after I've got that nice and secure, I'll go ahead and pour my teak oil. Be careful because the first time you pour a full can of teak oil, it will drip and I did not put my rag under here, which was my fault. So I use a little bit of an alcohol soaked rag and I clean that up. And be very careful also with your teak oil in the cup because it is very thin and it splashes very easily as you move around and you just won't even notice it. But just be really careful with that. So once you've got it poured, just enough for your job. The trick is to apply it just like varnish, except you will not need to thin it because it is already super thin. Be careful with runs. Always go back over the spot that you already brushed so that, that way you can smooth it out and smooth any runs that may be running. So once you've got that coat dry, which should take about an hour or two in direct sunlight, go ahead and apply your next coat. You don't need any prep in between the coats. Uh, then after that one dries, apply your next coat. It should take you about five or six coats to get to the spot that you want to be in. Um, and it could take up to three days or possibly even four to get these uh, coats built up or dry in between so that you can get the next coat on. Uh, this one has five coats and it looks just like varnish as you are about to see right here. This is dry, it is not wet, and this is five, wait, this is six coats, sorry, this is six coats of varnish. Or sorry, <laughs> this is six coats of teak oil. Uh, this is not varnish, but it does look just like varnish. Uh, maintenance wise, uh, you're going to want to wipe them down uh, about every three weeks and then put another coat on. Uh, depending on if it's in direct sunlight or shade, uh, that's going to vary it a lot. Uh, this is direct sunlight in, in uh, Hawaii and it makes a big difference. This is the doorway that I also did and it was done the same way. So the differences between using the teak oil and using varnish is varnish will definitely get you a much longer time in between maintenance. Uh, so, I mean, varnish uh, in direct sunlight here in Hawaii, it lasts about, you know, nine months to a year, and then you've got to do a light sand and then put a couple more coats on at the same time. So varnish is my real choice in allowing me to go a little bit longer time uh, for maintenance. Uh, now, the advantage of teak oil is, is it requires a minimum of prep. There's no sanding or anything in between coats, and it's just super easy to apply. But that's kind of the only advantages of teak oil, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it does keep the wood in decent shape, but it does go away really quick. Um, another little disadvantage with varnish is if you let it go too far, you have to completely strip it down. Otherwise, you will see the color differentiations between your old, old coats and your new coats. Well, that's it for the video. I uh, hope you guys got something out of it or learned a little bit of something, uh, or at least just helped you out a little bit. Uh, so anyway, good luck with your project, and I shall see you in the next video.